What's going on, peeps? Welcome to another episode of Undoctrinate. Well, whilst doing a little headline scrolling this morning, I found this from the world. Is Singapore's approval of lab-grown meat a win for the climate? Well, first of all, it's not lab-grown. It's lab-produced or lab-manufactured. So, yeah, get your terminology right, peeps. Let's scroll right on down here. Meat without the bad. Quote, it's a way of eating meat without killing an animal, without tearing down a single tree, without using a single drop of antibiotics, without negatively impacting biodiversity, without accelerating zoonotic disease. So, you get the good stuff about meat without the bad, unquote. This came from a Josh Tetrick, co-founder, Eat Just. Well, Mr. Tetrick, let's take your very first line. It's a way of eating meat without killing an animal. Eh, wrong answer, troop. So, here's the situation. They've got to build a lab or factory to produce or manufacture this meat, okay? Well, you have to destroy habitats for wildlife to produce these facilities. So, what happens when you destroy the natural habitats for wildlife? It forces them into new areas whereby they become either overpopulated and end up fighting and killing amongst themselves, or they end up in heavily human-populated areas, uh, you know, and any number of things can kill them from being struck by a vehicle or being euthanized on private property, as I work in wildlife management, so I know these things. So right there, first line, you shut down, Mr. Tetrick. That is a lie straight from the pits of hell. Next line, without tearing down a single tree. Well, there again, Mr. Tetrick, that is a lie because you have to tear down trees to place your facility somewhere. So, one, you're doing more damage to the environment. That's not healthy because you're tearing down oxygen-producing trees. Hmm. Let alone the fact that the facility has to get its electricity and power from somewhere, and it's going to take exponential resources and fiat currency to keep that place at even temperatures and ensure that the environments are all satisfactory to meet the guidelines for your lab produced meat lab manufactured meat so yeah right there straight out of the gate peeps mr josh tetrick needs to needs to understand he's double-minded and the scriptures indicate one of double-mindedness is unstable in all their ways. So, there you go, peeps. This whole nonsense about lab, quote, grown, unquote, meat is a farce. It's a lie. It is of the Antichrist spirit. Because they're going to tell you it's all great for the climate, but it's not. Because you can see, just as Mr. Tetrick said in his own words, that... He's going to lie to you about not killing animals. It doesn't kill animals. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Your labs and manufacturing facilities destroy habitats for wildlife. Ergo, you're sending them into other environments where they're going to get killed. Hmm. Imagine that. So while you're eating your little lab-manufactured meat, just keep that in mind. That squirrel got pushed out of, the, out of his home. You know, ethnic cleansing, I guess you could call it. Huh. Interesting, isn't it? So, and then without tearing down a single tree, well, there you go. You go right back to the first part. You're destroying habitats for wildlife, so you're tearing trees down. I mean, it's, it's, this is baloney, man. This is as bad as EVs being touted as so great for the climate when you got to charge your batteries somehow. And that power to charge them needs to come from something like a coal-fired power plant or a nuclear power plant. I mean, it's coming from somewhere, and it's coming from something that damages the environment. So stop. Stop with your double-mindedness, all right? Stop. Anyway, look, peeps. Y'all can keep buying into the nonsense if you want, but y'all need to undoctrinate. You need to study the scriptures. Repent, believe, and find your walk with Yeshua, okay? These people, and actually, let me go ahead. I'll actually go down here. Without accelerating zoonotic disease. Actually, actually, let me go ahead and go into this real quick because I just thought about this from my wildlife experience. By building their manufacturing facilities to produce this meat or manufacture this meat, all right, they have forced 
the wildlife into more condensed populations, thereby allowing the spread of zoonotic diseases much more rapidly. I mean, it's it's just like looking at the spread of a virus in a condensed population, uh, condensely populated area, versus one that's more sparsely populated. Obviously, the sparsely populated area, the more rural areas, tend to fare better through times of viruses and such. Whereas metropolitan areas, condensed locations or heavily condensed populations uh, in one area tend to have more abrupt challenges with such diseases and illnesses. So, I mean, like, really? Do y'all even read anymore? Do y'all? Anyway, so, yeah, there you go. That's just an exposure of the Antichrist B system at work lying to you straight to your face. Anyway... Hope you find your walk with Jesus for real, because this world is sick.